Hey guys, welcome back. Today's viewer question is from Ishmael, and he's got a 2011 Crown Vic with a check engine light and DTC P0128. And he wants to know a little bit more information on how to fix it. And this is a really good question because it applies to all Panther cars from 1992 to 2011. Crown Vic Grand Marquis Marauder Town Car. And so I thought I would take this opportunity to open up the good book and read you guys another bedtime story. And by good book, I mean factory level service literature. And once again, if you want to get your hands on this uh, factory level service literature for free, I put a link down below in the description box and just click on that. And that'll tell you how you can uh, get it for yourself. And it works on every car in like 1970 to newer and um, every manufacturer and that way you won't have to listen to me uh, with these videos so uh, let's get in uh, to this code definition and description so p0128 is uh, it says coolant temperature below thermostat regulating temperature and the description is indicates the thermostat monitor has not achieved the required engine operating temperature within the specified amount of time after starting the engine. Now, um, I, the, now these are going to be the possible causes, and I blew this up so you can read this. So first off, it says insufficient warm-up time. Next is low engine coolant level. Next is leaking or stuck open thermostat. Next is damaged engine coolant temperature sensor or damaged cylinder head temperature sensor. And uh, then it refers us to uh, pinpoint testing. And pinpoint testing is uh, this little uh, electrical connector that is on the back of the uh, uh, engine coolant temp sensor and there's another one for the cylinder head temp sensor. So this is the uh, ECT and it's got two pins in there, one and two. And I think it says uh, one of them is signal return and one of them it just says uh, ECT. So I'm not sure which one it is. But that's not real important. What, what's important is is this graph right here. And basically uh, the engine coolant temp sensor in plain English, it works like a resistor that changes its resistance as it changes temperature. So you can see on this graph right here, <clears throat> excuse me, when the engine is cold, it puts out a high voltage to the PCM. And as the engine warms up, it starts uh, changing its resistance, and then it changes the voltage that it gives the PCM. So when it's cold, it puts out a lot of voltage, and then when the engine gets to normal operating temperature, it puts out a very low voltage. And then it even gives you a chart here of what the resistance of the sensor should be according to the temperature of the engine. So what if you were to test the, the ECT sensor, you want to take several readings of that sensor as the engine warms up. And if it starts acting wackadoo with readings, that may indicate the sensor is uh, malfunctioned. So um, let, let me give you a quick uh, demonstration on how that works. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> let me get this set up. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using my uh, favorite twelve dollar scan tool in the whole wide world, and that is the Elm. 327 and it's my favorite because it only costs twelve dollars and it works with a whole bunch of free uh, software programs uh, for obd2 diagnosis so uh, right now it's connecting and we're connected. Okay, so my car has been sitting in the garage for the past 24 hours, so everything is uh, stone cold. 
uh, cold engine, cold everything. And these are the readings. So you can see that it says the uh, engine coolant temperature is 53 degrees Fahrenheit and the intake air temperature is 53 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means uh, it's cold soaked. That means the engine is as cold as it is as the air temperature in my garage. Okay, so now that we have, the, uh, we have one part of uh, the information that we need to test this sensor, we have uh, a, a temperature. Now we need to go out to the sensor and check the resistance. So let's go try to do that. <clears throat> and I, I can shut that off. I don't need this anymore. Okay, so this is going to be uh, different on every Panther car where this uh, engine coolant temperature sensor is located, but it's uh, going to be close to here, somewhere on the intake manifold. So this is the, uh, or let me give you a better shot of it. So that's it right there. So go ahead and take off this little electro electrical connector. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our meter and we're going to do a resistance check on the sensor. So I'm going to make this a little bit easier on myself. And I'm going to use a little alligator clip. Okay, so I've got my meter set to uh, resistance, and I've got uh, one end of the probe connected to the one pin, and now I'm going to touch the other pin. So how am I going to show this? Okay. Okay, so my reading is 5.5 kiloohms. Now this is the reading that you would want to compare with that chart. And uh, as you start the engine and let the engine warm up, you're going to keep taking readings as it warms up and compare them with that table. And so once you get done with that, then you're also going to want to check uh, the sensor or the PCM side of things. So that means we're going to check to see if uh, uh, your ground is shorted or the uh, power is shorted or whatnot. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, take your meter here and just connect it to the negative of the battery. And I'll put this on continuity and you're going to probe these pins. So on this one I'm getting a reading but no continuity and on this one I'm getting a reading and continuity so uh, obviously I've got a good ground on one of those and on the other one I would probably need to uh, set it on voltage to make sure I've got good reference voltage <coughs> okay Ishmael so hopefully that gives you uh, a little bit more understanding on what you got to do to fix this code. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.